Hey guys, what's going on? Zero here, back with another Minecraft video. Today I have for you guys a quite different video, mostly because this really pissed me off that I recorded the whole video and it didn't have my commentary wasn't there. So what you guys are gonna be seeing is you're gonna be seeing some uh, pre pre recorded videos and an after game commentary type thing. Uh, anyways, this video is different from all my videos. So you guys are gonna be seeing something really different. In a way something like leafy is here you're gonna see some after game commentary where he's just recording himself talking which is quite weird for me because i don't normally I'm, i've never done this so if you guys do want this make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below if you guys do want some more but anyways this is a thank you guys this is a thank you video i originally got the idea from green river uh joe if you guys didn't know who he is i got this video idea from him mostly because he was really he was saying thank you guys and i it made me realize i am truly blessed to have you guys as supporters and i can't even call fans or subscribers it just doesn't make sense to me because you guys are way more than that to me i can even call you guys my friends i've been ta i talk to you guys all the time through instagram dms and just such like that and it really it's really good way to connect with you guys i have really fun talking to each and every one of you guys Sometimes I may not be able to talk for long because I have work and such. Sometimes I may not be able to talk because I'm busy or something. But there is multiple. There is days where I will be just. I don't have anything to do and I will talk to you guys nonstop because you guys are truly. You guys are really cool people and you guys should all feel cool because you guys are truly amazing. And like I said, I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again. I am thankful for you guys. You guys are really amazing. You guys are really awesome. And you guys should all feel awesome, and you guys should know that. Anyways, I'm hoping you guys are going to be... I'm hoping that I can count on you guys to always be there. Like, subscribe, always watch my videos. Because you guys are the reason why I love doing YouTube. I, without you guys, I would be nothing in YouTube. And I'm just going to go over on a little rant here, like a little story type thing. Three years ago, in 2013, is when I first started my, ch my very first channel playing minecraft i was playing on a laptop that was like 200 dollars, 100 dollars, something like that it was an asus laptop i remember because i remember getting it for christmas and the first thing i ever wanted to do was download minecraft it was i don't know why it was just the best thing for me because i was really happy and at the time i couldn't afford a minecraft account i was playing on a, a freaking uh, cracked account and it was it was fun i had a lot of fun i played on servers with friends i played i did a lot of things and one of the first people i ever who actually got me into youtube was uh potato king anthony who's never he hasn't been on this channel at all but uh for my old channel he was on there a lot he i even did a uhc with him that we almost won but um yeah that's it brings it brings me back into history it makes me really think wow how far i've come now the first channel I've ever created only reached 27 subscribers. 27, which what, and that's not all at once. It, it was at nine for the longest time. The only reason why it's at 27 is because I believe on my old channel, I shouted it out or something like that, like saying, go ahead and check out my old videos, which there's two videos on it. If you guys want to hear how squeaky I sounded when I was like, I don't know, like 13 or something. I have no idea how old I was. I was probably like 14 or something like that. I know it was like my, eighth grade or freshman year or something like that something around there and it, it was very it was very intense for me i didn't want to do youtube because i was afraid um squeakiness like i didn't want to become known as a squeaker or this and that so it was quite weird for me to start off youtube and now that i've come to this i'm like you guys are very supportive like you guys are the best fans i can ever have and like i said i can't even call you guys fans I, you guys are like friends. You guys are the best friends I've probably ever had. And I, I don't know where I've been without you guys. And I really should, should I should, really should show it, show it, I really should show it more often and show you guys how appreciative I am of you guys. You guys are really awesome, in my opinion. But anyways, back to the story. I'm going to keep saying that, by the way. So do not get old of it and do not click off yet. Please, I beg. Anyways, so I first started off YouTube not knowing anything. I just started with a normal camera, 
oh, Norma screen recorder, which I think was called BB Software or something like that. It was the camera that me and Anthony found, Potato King, which is who I was talking about. Uh, we first started off and we started his first video on his channel, which uh, has me in it or something like that. There's a survival game or something like that. I know there's definitely a like team like game like a uh, capture the fly game or something like that with me and him in it. And you have to remember, if you think my frame or something like that's bad because I get 100 FPS when recording. But if you think that's bad, you should see my old videos. I was getting like 15 frames when recording. And to me, I thought I was like running the fastest computer ever. But besides the fact, when I first started off YouTube on that channel, I didn't really know much about YouTube. I didn't know. My first goal when I first started YouTube was to become famous and to like get make money because I was a greedy little kid back then. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny the fact that I was greedy back then. But now that I've actually seen like what I can do what I can what I can encourage like I've seen you guys make comments like I made your day I get DMs from you guys I talk to you guys a lot and you guys are saying amazing video awesome video you made my day this and that and I'm just like that's insane like the fact that someone as small as me can make someone's day like you have to think that is insane for me and it forms up my heart knowing that I can do something like that it just makes me feel so warm inside and it makes me really want to start doing more videos that's why that's why I do what I do that's why I like uploading like, even though I'm not the most consistent uploader I try to upload when I can and I still have a whole bunch of videos on my desktop ready to be uh, uploaded I have all the way up to episode 13 of the SMP I just haven't had time to render them because I'm busy I just haven't had time as well as I have a prank coming up uh, for an episode which I'm not gonna let you guys know when but it is coming up so make sure you guys do stay tuned it's probably the best prank on the, on the server ever but I can't stress enough that YouTube is more than just a hobby sometimes uh, when after my first YouTube channel failed uh, I kind of went on to a new direction I went to a whole new channel and I called that logic plays that's why a lot of my friends call me Logic. That's why a lot of my friends call me different names. And it officially started with like just a normal, like uh, I think I started off as a speed or chi build. No, I started off as a montage, which wasn't a montage, just me PVPing like I am right now. Which, if since this is pre recorded, I'm probably not PVPing, probably making a dick by now. But uh, yeah. I have. Like, I had no clue how to start YouTube back then, and I am not gonna lie, I think I, if I do remember, I did bought that channel, and I did that just so I can grow on YouTube, because no one would watch me. Who would watch a squeaker, in my opinion, because when I started that, it was in 2014 when I first started that channel. 2014 when I first started it, and I bought it because I was just pissed off at myself, because I knew, because after my first video couldn't even get uploaded, I knew I wasn't gonna make it in YouTube, so I thought, hey, that might work. Eventually, I started getting subscribers. I went all the way up to 500, and that's actual subscribers, by the way, until I got bodied around, I got bodied up to 400 again by someone else who tried getting, kicked, getting me kicked off of YouTube. But that channel's still up. You search up Logic Plays, it's the first channel, Frostifer. Uh, my friend has owns that channel now. He hasn't been uploading to it, but definitely check it out. Um, Maybe, maybe I can see if he can make a playlist or something of all my videos and such on it, but yeah. Besides the fact, I did that channel when I first started out recording with Anthony. I, we didn't, he couldn't get Skype for the first few, like, for the first, like, month or so. So what we did was we would grab her phone, we would put her right next to the speaker, and we would just play like that. Where you can barely hear him, it was, it, was, it brings up flashbacks to me. And lots of memories when I think of something like that. And then eventually I hosted my first SMP. Uh, this was before I started recording him, and it was called the Bite SMP. The SMP was amazing for me, it created so many opportunities. That's how I met X Corey X, and that's how I met so, m so many other people. Eventually it went down the road, and it went like f 10 seasons like of the Bite SMP, where it was like 20 episodes, like. 
it was there for like two weeks and then another season so like season one two weeks season two two weeks season three two weeks and just so on because i just got mad on myself that no one was playing it and no one was active and now that we have the defiance smp everyone's so active eventually down the road i ended up hosting the Eesh, if i can find it what was what did i call it i have no idea i think it was the bite smp and i that's when i first met joe I ended up adding Joe. I uh, ended up making a Twitter post, and Joe ended up joining, uh, or not joining, but DMing me, saying like, "Hey, I'm a fresh YouTuber." And this is when he was at like, I want to say like 90 subs or something like that. I knew him when he was very small on YouTube, and now he's like at 500 now, which is insane how how far we've grown. But as soon as that happened, a friendship connected, and I ended up really getting close to him, and. It's just like insane like even he has helped me and I have to thank all my friends for helping me doing what I can do I have to thank every single one of you guys. I have to thank my parents I have to thank everyone for making me the person I am today And it's just it's just starstruck like eventually I ended off that channel with the genetic season 2 which was a, a SMP that me and Joe owned uh, Yeah, SMP that me and him owned after owning the SMP, we did two seasons of it. Uh, one was a normal 1.8 SMP. The second was uh, more modded, not modded, um, a more, I want to say, plug-in based SMP with Lucky Box plugins, stuff like that. Which we were trying to get um, Minecraft Finest to join us, and they never eventually did. Which, if you guys didn't know, I'm, 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 I'm friends with Minecraft Finest, not best friends, I would say best friends like not being like joe and anthony and other people like that but i am friends with them uh long story behind that the pod crash and stuff like that being a builder and such but besides the fact it didn't work out and eventually i ended up leaving my channel as a lot of accidents happened then which is very personal but if you guys ever want to know i can go ahead and either dm you guys or i can um i can go ahead and actually probably post in the comments or something like that probably most dm though because it's probably gonna be personal then but yeah lots of accidents happened and it eventually led to a scenario of hey i'm gonna just go ahead and start a new youtube channel i didn't tell joe or anyone else about this and joe eventually kind of figured out because i talked to him about the name zero yt before which wasn't smart because I, sh I shouldn't have but anyways the kind of story is I have to thank every single one of you guys for helping me be what I can be like you guys are truly awesome and you're the reason why I can do what I'm doing like you reason why like if you guys haven't seen my social place to stats hold up I can't even like talk right now if you haven't seen the stats of my social blade I'm gonna go ahead and post them up on screen right now it's truly amazing like what my projections can be like if you look in a year i can be at 2000 like who can say who at 200 subscribers can say hey don't worry in a year and i'll be uh, at 2k no one no one can really say that because like it's Im almost impossible for something like that to happen like i'm that's one thing i can really thank you guys for because if it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't be, I wouldn't be at 2K in like almost a year. That's if those uh, are right. But yeah, I can't, I wouldn't be at 2K in a year if they are right. So that's all I can really say. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, I hope you guys hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, share with your dog. And I am truly thankful for every single one of you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy like you guys should. This video is dedicated to every single one of you guys, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Goodbye.